Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I am Hannah and today we are coloring our hair. Now this is the first time that I'm actually using the brand Arctic Fox and let me just say the end results are a lot more vibrant than what it was before. I do want to go ahead and apologize in advance that a lot of my footage is not in focus. Hopefully it's not too distracting and again we are learning together. I do film this all by myself so I do want to go ahead and apologize for that. Hopefully again it is not too distracting. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoy my vibe, make sure that you guys subscribe to my channel. Comment down below what you guys want to see next. So without further ado, let's go ahead and color our hair. I do already have my hair parted and ready to go. So let's go ahead and apply the color. So I did put the color in my bowl already and this is what it looks like. It smells so freaking good and I'm so excited. I'm a little nervous. Not gonna lie, but red comes out easy so I'm not too nervous about it. I already like that. We're gonna try to be careful around my hairline because I don't have a red forehead for like the rest of the weekend, you know? Also, if you hear snoring, my dogs are literally sleeping like right there. And I have pugs, so. Um, this color, by the way, does not require a developer. I don't know if I said that. Like, you just pour it straight out of the bottle, and she's ready to go. I love how I'm being all neat about this, when really, when I put hair color on, I just, like, slap it on, you know? I don't know if anybody else is like that, or it's just me, but that's how I normally do it, because we ain't got time for that. But I'm also doing it over carpeting. I don't want to be, like, an asshole about it on my carpeting either. But anyways, how's everybody else doing? Is everybody else doing good? I feel like lately, I have just been so freaking drained by what's going on you know just in the world I had to buy a bunch of sage and actually sage my house because I just felt like the energy around me has just been so heavy lately I just needed a quick cleanse of the palette I don't know if anybody else feels that way when it comes to cleansing your house but I certainly do like to cleanse my house and I really should do it more often we all need a good cleanse every once in a while Make sure I get my sideburns also I really already like this color so freaking much I was a little afraid it was gonna be too dark Dark. I feel like if I went any lighter, it would have looked weird. I probably could go a little bit darker. I saw a bunch of girls on YouTube using purple with this, but I don't want to use purple. Also, I'm just <laughs> going in blind back here. I have no idea where I'm applying this and if I'm even applying it to the right area, but whatever. I hope it matches my extensions. That's really what I'm worried about. If I need to go back in with a different hair color, we can always do that. Also, if you have red hair, can we just take a minute and talk about how you need to make sure that you're getting like all of your baby hairs because if you don't, all those hairs in the front are super noticeable. Um, I don't know if it's just me, maybe just my baby hairs are noticeable, but just really make sure you're saturating the front of your hair because you wanna look like you got bald spots because my hair is really light. So if I leave spots open, I look like I got straight up bald spots because I'm lazy and I don't want to. And I thought coloring my hair and recording a video would be fun, but it's not. And I don't know how to be entertaining while I'm doing this. So this isn't a good video. Hmm, I don't know if it's gonna see the light of day. I should have probably just done this in my bathroom. Oh my god, I didn't get anything behind my ear. How do people do this and are like entertaining? They probably have a bigger following, so they're able to do like Q and A's. Every time I post a Q and A on my like Instagram, nobody responds. It's mostly because everybody that follows me is from my small ass hometown. Also, there's a huge storm rolling in. My trees outside are blowing. And it's very dark out. How are we looking? We looking good? We looking refreshed? I hope this color matches my extensions, honestly, because then I can just do semi-permanent on my hair instead of doing permanent color. And this is healthier. And it's vegan. Okay, did I get all this? No, I can still see my white scalp right here. There we go. Let's move on to the other side and do those roots, and then we will do the ends. I don't know if I mentioned this, and I'm gonna mention it again if I have mentioned it. It smells so good. It literally smells so good. And I just got that all over my ear. 10 out of 10. Let's start parting the hair. Also, I did hear with this um, hair color too, you have to make sure that you are saturating your hair or else you will get like patchy. You know, I did buy a bunch of clothes on Shein. They were supposed to come in, they didn't. They are still being shipped, which was weird because my last one, I ordered it literally, I don't know, what I say on a Thursday or a Saturday and it was here by Thursday. And then I ordered this one on a Sunday and it didn't even ship until Thursday, which was so freaking weird because again, I just placed an order a week prior. Oh no. Also, I love that it's thundering and it's not even raining yet. Does anybody else do this thing when, when they're going through traumatic events in life, they just have to color their hair or is it just me? Because I feel like every single time I have a traumatic incident happen in my life, the first thing that I always wanna do, oh no, I just got color on my arm. First thing that I always wanna do is like just color my hair. I'm not saying like, oh, you know, I just wanna color it the same color that I have. No, it's like like, traumatic event, no, I need to color my hair a completely opposite color of what it is. And sometimes I just need to learn the word semi-permanent hair color. You know what I mean? Because I just spent thousands of dollars 
going from having black hair to straight up platinum blonde, like thousands of dollars. So glad I spent all that money coloring it blonde and just layering, layering, and layering more color onto my already damaged hair. Just me. It feels good on my hair. Like it feels like super nourishing. It almost feels like conditioner, if that makes sense. Like I just feel like I'm putting like a tinted conditioner, but there is first, hopefully, coated follicles. Also, this color is so cute. I haven't even rinsed it out and I already know that I like it. So that's where we're at. I think, how do I wanna do this? Maybe what I'll do is I'll start at the bottom like I was. Also, my other piece of advice is if you have extensions and you're coloring them, cut them before you color them. Because I made the mistake of coloring all like 300 and some grams of hair just to cut off about half of it, then realized that I just wasted a lot of color trying to color hair extensions when I could have just cut them with the color that they were in before I put them Hmm. Through all the color. I don't know if that was thunder or if that was just wind. We have a tornado around here or what? I was watching YouTube videos of people trying out this hair color before I actually put it on my head just because I was, you know, like you get kind of nervous um, about putting color on your hair. And I wanted to like just see like how everybody else has turned out. And I watched this video of this girl that did it and she didn't like how it turned out. She's like, yeah, it's not work appropriate. I have to change it. I was like, what fucking place do you work at that you need to change your hair color because it's red? Like it's just red. You know what I should have done? Was I should have done side by sides of what my hair looks like now and then like what the end result's gonna look like. You know what the worst part about putting hair color in your hair is? You can't take a nap when your hair has hair color in it. That's like the worst part because I don't know about you but after doing my hair, I get tired. Like I get really sleepy because it's a lot of work to color your own hair. I always feel like I just need, I could just go for a good nap after coloring my hair. That's the only part that sucks about coloring your hair is you literally have a half hour to 45 minutes just to burn. I feel just so awkward right now. So awkward. Sitting here, it's been 20 minutes. I feel like nothing that's come out of my mouth has been helpful or really anything. I don't know how people vlog or like I don't really have anything to talk about. Like I said before, I ordered a bunch of stuff off Shein so hopefully that'll be here by the end of this week. My hair will be all fresh to death so then we can film a Shein haul and I got more than bathing suits this time and if you haven't seen my last Shein video, I will go ahead and just link it in the bio or at the end of the video, I'll put it in and you can just click on it. I just feel like I've been really, really liking where my channel's been going. I feel like it's more true to me where before with the makeup tutorials, like that's fine, you know? Love makeup, like don't get me wrong, I love makeup, but it's just, I feel like there's so much more to like what I enjoy that I feel like now my channel has truly turned into a place for me to be creative and like do whatever the hell I want. And if I wanna buy a million swimsuits with my own freaking money and try them out on the internet, and feel self-conscious, but also like super badass. I've had nothing but love on that video, so that feels freaking amazing. I feel like it's more uncommon now for women to hate on other women than it is for women to love other women, which is freaking amazing. Like that's how it should be. Let's just think about it for, an, for a second. I feel like when I was in high school, my automatic train of thought was just to like, hate women that were prettier than me, that had, you know, nicer clothes than me, that just basically, you know, had things that I wanted. Girls, if you are a, a teenager or you are super self-conscious, please, like, learn self-love and, like, know that you are so goddamn beautiful. Being a bitch isn't cool. Like, it's just not fun. And no offense, but most of the time when you're a bitch, you're a bitch because you have underlying, um, self-esteem issues and I've been there. I know what it's like. You wanna talk about being a bitch, girl. <clears throat> I was a queen of one. But that's because I had issues underlying in my own personal life that reflected and came out, you know, through myself because I felt ugly and worthless on the inside. It's, it's all about healing and knowing and I feel like a good, a good goal with healing is learn how to love and support other people. So if you see a girl that looks freaking cute and you like her shoes, say, hey bitch, I love your shoes, because then if that girl's like, oh my god, that girl complimented my shoes, I'm gonna compliment someone's shoes today. And then all of a sudden she goes and compliments someone's shoes. Then you got a whole chain reaction of people thinking that it's normal to compliment other people, and then more people are gonna compliment more people. Anyways, so that's where my brain went, and I feel like this video literally just went from me being like, I don't know what to talk about, to now I'm talking about too much. I have all the hair color on. It looks freaking fantastic. The bottle says to leave this on for at least 30 minutes. It is currently 5.17 p.m. We'll leave it on probably until 6 o'clock and I will be back. But anyways, I'll see you guys in just a minute.
All right, you guys, this is how my hair turned out. It is so freaking beautiful. It is just like a true, almost like aerial red, and I am obsessed with it. My hair feels so good. It looks so freaking shiny. I would say I'm gonna stay with using this from now on on my red. The only part that I don't think I really like a lot is the roots just because my roots are natural right now so where they're growing out the color really didn't stick but everywhere else it just refreshed my red. It is so freaking gorgeous and I am obsessed with it. So I would say if you are a redheaded girl and you need something to just kind of retouch your hair in between colors if your outgrowth isn't too bad I would say pick up a bottle of this you can even dilute it with your conditioner but I really like this I think she is gonna stay in my beauty routine I hope that you guys like this video if you guys like my vibe and you like my content please make sure to subscribe comment down below what you guys want to see next I do have a Shein haul coming for you soon so make sure you guys stay tuned for that I love you guys so so much and I will catch you guys in my next video Bye, guys.